So, how exactly does a refrigerator work? You may have wondered this at one point. Growing up, I always thought when you put something in a fridge, you are adding cold to it. But what I've learned is that you cannot add cold to anything. You're basically removing heat, and I'll get into more detail about that later on. Basically, a refrigerator uses three principles to work. Pressure, condensing, and evaporation of a refrigerant in a closed circuit. Now, it's important to keep in mind that the refrigerant is constantly changing state as it moves through the circuit. By doing so, it removes heat and lowers the temperature inside your fridge. Now, refrigerant is essentially a fluid before it enters the circuit. Basically, it all starts with the compressor, which is a motor that acts as the heart of the fridge. When you hear your fridge running, that is the sound of the compressor. Low pressure and low temperature gas enters the compressor. The gas is compressed, and as it goes to a higher pressure, its temperature also rises. This is, of course, achieved with electricity. The hot gas is then moved to a condenser, where the heat is removed, and the gas begins to condense into a liquid. Again, as I mentioned, refrigerant starts as a liquid, and as it goes through the circuit, it's constantly changing state. From the condenser, it moves to the ventilation fins. Heat is released through cooling fins on the back of the fridge. That is why the back of your fridge often feels very warm. The liquid then goes through an expansion device where the pressure is greatly lowered. It expands and some of the liquid turns into a vapor. This change of state has a cooling effect. Now it moves to the evaporator. Here, the cold liquid absorbs the warmth from the air inside the fridge and turns back into a low temperature gas at low pressure. The whole cycle starts over again as the gas journeys once again through the compressor. By the way, if you use an air conditioner in your car or your home, it is basically the same process. It removes the heat from your car or from your room the same way heat is removed from inside the refrigerator. An ice arena can also be thought of as a kind of great big refrigerator. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's greatly appreciated and always helps my channel grow. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.